Yo, he back. It's your boy. You know. The first two minutes, we'll keep it PG. But I'm going to step right up and step right in. I like him. No disrespect. I ain't saying it because I don't want beef. Because, I, I mean, I don't want no beef. But if beef comes, you know, it don't mean nothing. If somebody getting their feelings. But I'm going to speak on it. I like the guy, huh? the brother, ten toes down, shaft. I like watching him because he make me laugh when he say, talk to me, talk to me. And what else do he say? Uh, uh, Shut up. You know, he, he do his, got his little thing. Although I must say, he, he I don't know if he has hair or a bald head because he always got on a baseball hat. And... Come on, man. You gonna pull your ass out? <laughs> you see me trying to shoot a video? Then I gotta get in something. See, YouTube, this is how they do. Man. They wanna distract you with big asses. Anyway, where was I at? Oh, yeah, 10 toes down. <laughs> 10 toes down, man. He stole her song Campbell style, man, because he always got a baseball hat on. He got his glasses. I even noticed he started wearing big trunk jewelry. You know how them New York niggas do, man. They in the big dookie ropes, man. Hey, man, there was a dude, man. His name was Jabbar Billingsley, man. He was from the Bronx, man. He moved to, to, to our area and came to school. And he had one on them big daddy cane dookie ropes, man. So he was my guy. And he was a hooper. He was nice. He was cold. He was the New York City. I saw, you know what I mean? Nah, people from New York do, man. They, New York City! And he... Pumped it up and was crazy about it, man. Might have been from Yonkers or upstate Albany. Who knows? But anyway, he had, <laughs> he had that dookie rope on like Big Daddy came, man. So he said, man, I said, let me see that, bro, man. I, said, she said, I thought that thing cost a million dollars. It was so big, man. He handed me that thing. It was as light as a marshmallow. <laughs> it was clinking and clinking. <laughs> He said, yeah, that's how it is. It's hollow. <laughs> so when you see them big dookie rope chains, man, them, them things ain't worth but a, a couple dollars because they're hollow. They light, lighter than marshmallows. So that's my New York story. But anyway, 10 Toes Down, man, and Hassan Campbell, they back at it again, man. They back at it again. Hassan Campbell said the foulest stuff, man. He told 10 Toes Down, man, he said, I want to bust in your mouth. <laughs> and choke you so you can't swallow. I saw you dumbass nigga, you gonna spit it out. Which means so he can't swallow if you choking him. He can still spit. He said, I want you to hold it in your mouth and taste it, taste it. <laughs> I must stop laughing. I had to give it to us on. That shit was funny, man. That goofy motherfucker. You could tell, man. I don't care how much weights he left or nothing. A song Campbell cannot fight. I guarantee you that. That nigga can't fight, man. That's a bitch ass nigga. I know he can't fight, man. Too, too many people done offered him to fight and he just won't accept it. That nigga can't fight. He know he can't fight. His mama know he can't fight. His woman know he can't fight. Bambada know he can't fight. That motherfucker can't fight. And I do believe my man Shaft, because that is my guy, Shaft uh, beat the living shit out of him. But Shaft always say, stay out of that white man's prison. Stay out of Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. He make me laugh, man. That should be his T-shirt. Shut up. That talk to me. Talk back to me. Shaft got a way of saying things, but that's talk back to me. I ain't, that ain't as good as to shut up, bro. Like, in a lifetime, you'd be lucky to catch a, one phrase that the world loves and it be known to you. And that shut up, run with that. That talk back to me, it don't hit me the same as shut up. Just, just my opinion. But when Shaft and Hassan Campbell got together, Shaft, I want to know why you ain't fuck him up, man. Seriously, real rap, like, he, you know, he's your mom, makes you rest in peace, no disrespect, I ain't, you know, I ain't playing no games with it. But he invoked your mother, you know what I mean? You should have beat the living shit out of him, no passes. 
He gave him a pass. Y'all met in the park. Then he gave him another pass. And now y'all back at it again. Man, are y'all friends? I want to know. Is Shaft and Hassan Campbell really friends and they're doing this reviews? Because when you had a chance to crack that nigga forehead, do nothing. Dude, you know how you get my I'm going to lose my shit. I'm going to lose it and I'm going to crack his shit. I done hit people with nightsticks. Everything, man. I've done it all, man. I ain't never killed nobody. But I've done it all, man. I'm the main, cause people get surgery. I did my thing, my fair share of things. I was telling my dad about it when he said, I don't want to hear no more. You know, Jesus. And he's a cop. You don't want to hear no more, Jesus. Stop it. Man. But, Shaft, this video, I just watched the video. When the song said he wants you, he want to choke you while he busts in your mouth. <laughs> so you, you can't swallow, you got to taste it. Hold it, taste it. You had the chance to bust his ass, Shaft, and you didn't. Shout out to my man, Jay Quill, man, because Jay Quill brought it to my attention. Man, these niggas keep meeting up and, and talking all that New York City shit, you know, that city slicker shit they do in New York. You know what I'm saying? All that city slicker shit. But when you had the chance to wring his fucking neck, Shaft, you came in, you came like, uh, you came like the, Is the Israeli and Palestinians. You got together in peace talks. So, I just want to know, man, Shaft, if you have another opportunity to sit down with Hassan Campbell. Oh, Mama Duck's live. I'm going to get ready to go watch that, man. Love me some Mama Duck, boy. She bringing updates on the old block five. On the old block five. Them niggas is dumb. The dumbest hitmen in the history of hitmen. Shaft. Are you going to put hands and feet on Hassan? Or are you going to sit down at the picnic bench and eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with this nigga again and then tell the people what you're going to do to him when you get by him? And then when you get by him, you piecing it up. You got all them muscles. You drinking and eating your spinach, Popeye in it and all that shit. But when it comes time to put hands and feet on him, Shaft, you peace, peace treaty in the park. Peace Central Park peace treaty niggas. Come on, Shaft. What's up, man? Real niggas out here, man. We, we, we watching you and you think you think you were going, you knew what we're going to do. And then when you got a chance to do, I think you had a, a thought. Stay out of that white man's prison. Well, stop telling us you're going to whoop a son's ass. Because the only thing you're going to do is the peace treaty, nigga.